Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in CSS and today we're going to be learning how to use division tags in order to organize a well structured website. So if you look at my website for an example, I am going to revamp it over the summer but I revamped it during spring break. It used to look horrible but this looks a little better doesn't it? I don't know just you know you have your the banner section right here the horizontal navigation these two links right here don't work yet this one won't work for a while I'll describe it in a whole separate video about my website because I would like to kind of introduce you on how to use it but but yeah you see how everything's you know in its own section and whatnot here so let me show you how you go about doing that using division tags so we have a blank page here and I'll probably need to widen this since we're going to be well working with a whole site here so the first thing we're probably going to want to do is uh, make a container a containing division tag that will contain everything and keep it centered on your web page. So uh, the reason why I call it container is because most textbooks usually they usually introduce it as the oh I hope that doesn't fuzz there uh, as a container. So I'll just uh, create a couple of div tags here. I'll give an ID of container and a closing div tag. And everything in your body is going to go between these two tags. So first of all, let's go to our CSS file and modify the container. So the first thing I like to do is to actually give this a background color, but it's not going to have a background color in the end. The reason why I want to give it a background color is so you can see where it is. So the background color I'm going to use is uh, ECF1EF. There we go. And now let's give it some width and height. So uh, basically, the width will be from one side to the other side. If you look at my website, for example, it'll be from this edge all the way to this edge. And uh, a lot of websites work this way. YouTube works like that. Uh, if you you know you just move it around, everything's all nice and whatnot. Uh, there's no wrapping with the text here. The text stays put even when it gets too small. Uh, YouTube works. You know, not just YouTube. I, I just think about that website a lot. And you're probably watching this on YouTube, but. Uh, a lot, pretty much every site works this way. Everyone, this is a standard now to design your websites like this. So from here to here, I think I did 1,050 pixels. So should I do 1,050? Um, that might be a lot for what I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to go with like 900 or something. Uh, so that's going to be the width. The height is irrelevant, but just so you can see it. I'll just give it five, 500 pixels, that's something we can get rid of later. Then in order to make sure it centers, even when you're resizing the browser, we're going to have to do margin left and margin right. Auto. Whoops. Auto, there we go. So margin right. Auto as well. So if I click save and I refresh the page. Now I can see this really light box here, and it's centered, and it remains centered as I resize the page, which is exactly what you'll want. So this eventually will be in invisible. Actually, at the end, I think I'll make the entire website's background color this shade, just so you can see. Uh, wait, no, that's not what I want to Okay. Whoops. Hitting the wrong buttons here. Okay, so that's it for the container. So the next thing we're probably going to do inside of our container is to make the banner, the this part. So... Uh, this big gray thing that you see right here that has the title for me it has an ad but for our example I'll put a picture in there so let's make a banner that appears here and by the way you don't need to worry about making uh, padding or margins because you aren't, you aren't going to see the square in the end so it doesn't matter so uh, whoops okay so let's make our first div tag here and let's call it uh, let's call it banner And these are just the technical terms of those parts of the website. So, uh, okay, so now we have a banner. And let's now go inside of our banner and modify it. So inside of banner, we're going to want to float this to the left. This is why I want wanted you to watch tutorial two tutorials ago first. I think that's number eight. Uh, so you understand about floating. And it ha all has to do with positioning, you know. So, and then after that, we're going to give it a width of 100%. Now, is it going to be 100% of the entire browser? No, only 100% of the parent uh, parent div tags, which is the container. So, 100% of that. And then after that, I would like to give it a height of, let's go, 250 pixels. And then after that, let's change the background color 
to 4a, 4a, 4a. It's a pretty easy one to remember. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now. So let's see how the website looks now. There we go. Now we have this big dark section here. It might be a little... 250 might be a little bigger than what you might want, but I'll just keep it like this for now. And uh, go back to this thingamajigger. And let's add some stuff in there. Inside of the banner, let's first add a picture. IMG. So the source will be... I'll just do this smiley.jpg again. And let's also throw in... Uh, my site so that will represent the title of your site and notice I did not put it in separate P tags so you don't have to but you can uh, you know what I am going to I think I'm yeah you know what I think I'm going to that that would make it easier to position it properly because I can give this P tag its own ID so for the image we're probably going to give it its own ID and I'll call it title underscore pick Oops, there we go and for the title, I'll just give it an ID of title. Uh, there we go. So let's go back in here, and first of all, let's save and see how things work out. Not too well. So the image is there, kind of ugly, where it's positioned. And my site is right there, not where we want them. So let's go back in our default.css and mess with these. So the first thing we want to mess with is probably the title picture. Okay, so for that, let's make it float to the left. That will prevent the title of the website from wrapping to the next, to under it. And after that, we're probably going to want to do just a, a margin left and a margin top. So, uh, because we don't, see how it's right up against that thing? Let's put in some uh, margin there. So, margin left. Let's just throw in 10 pixels there and margin top. Let's throw in, I don't know, 25. Actually, um, no, I think it is going to be 25. Okay, so now we're probably going to want to center this picture, right? We want just as much uh, margin down here as we will up here. So since we know this whole thing is 250 pixels, if I go into my files and look at my smiley right here, it says it's 200 by 200. So that means this thing is 200 and this whole thing is 250. So when you're messing with the margin top, if you want to space it, center it properly, vertically, then you're going to want the same, the same amount of margin here as here. So since this is 200 of 250, this is an additional 50 right here. So basically, if you cut that in half, we'll want 25 here and 25 there. So here, I'll throw in the 25 pixels. And that should make it perfect. So I click Save. Let's just see how that looks. There we go. So now you have 25 and 25 there. We have 10 there. And because we floated it to the left, this my site did not uh, wrap down anymore. So now let's actually mess with the title. And you know what? I'm going to change these p tags here to h2, uh, two. Uh, h2 tags, because I want the text to be bigger. And there we go. So now let's mess with the title of the site. And okay, so all we're probably going to want to do is a text align in the center. And it'll take it from uh, where it's going to determine the center from where the image is. So notice that how it didn't go right here for the center, which would be the center of this whole thing. It only went. It only took into account from here to here. So take it as you will. If you don't like that, you could always modify it yourself uh, using maybe maybe margin right. Uh, get some margin over here and move it over. Uh, but I think I think if you have an image here, having the title right there would probably look better, anyways. So uh, in my opinion. And we'll probably want to move it downward. So we're going to want margin top. And I don't know, 90 pixels. The whole thing's 200, so we'll probably want to go a little less than 100. And you know what? That didn't go down as far as I want. Let's, let's just make it 100. So I'll go save. There you go. That looks perfect. And uh, there you go. That's pretty much our banner right here. So you have like the title of your site, maybe a picture somewhere. I know this isn't how you'll probably lay it out with the picture and whatever, because you know you could probably make it. If you put some time and effort into it, you can make it a lot better. In the summer, I'm gonna revamp my website again to make it much more professional than it is right now. Especially when I learn after I learn jQuery and PHP in my SQL, I'll even make it so people can have their own accounts on there too. So I think that would be really really cool. But anyways. 
Uh, and I'll teach you all how to do that too when I learn PHP in my sequel. But anyways, okay, so I have all of that. And uh, what if you want to have an announcement on your website? You see how we have a little bit of space here? Even if you have the title of the site here, this is kind of bare. So maybe you'd like to have maybe a, like a little announcement box here. So let's do that next. So let's learn how to make div tags within div tags. Well, we kind of already did. The the banner are with, is within the container, but let's go uh, grandchildren here. So let's make another div tag here. Give it an ID of announcement. Whoops. And I'll close it off here. And within here, it's just some sort of announcement. So I'll type something in like, uh, this is a sample announcement. And I'll click save, and let's go to default.css and mess with the, the positioning of it. So let's go in here and mess with announcement. So within this guy, what we're going to want to do is change the background color first, probably. And I kind of ran out of ideas for background colors. Uh, let's just make it red because it's an announcement. And uh, probably text align center. And what we'll probably want next is maybe a width for it. Let's go 350 pixels. I don't know. And uh, a height. Let's go 100 pixels. And I'm probably going to have to mess with this. Let's float it to the right. I forgot. We want to float it to the right first. And then from there, we want to mess, it, mess with it. So I'm not quite too sure. This is where trial and error comes in. You're not going to just know. Uh, ugh. So, okay, so uh, I don't like this red, but oh well. So, first of all, it's a pretty good width. I want to move it over a little more, and I want to take away some height. Because I kind of want it to line up with this guy. So, let's make this margin. First of all, margin right. First of all, let's mess with the height here. Let's make it like 75 or something. Then, from there, let's move it over, scooch it over to 150. See how that looks. And a little bit more. Let's go 175. Um, ah, let's go 170. It's just, I don't know, I'm a little OCD. I want it to be per ah. Let's go 165. You know what, if it doesn't look good at this point. Okay, I, that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, that looks about where I probably want it. And you could just put in, you know, a sample announcement in here and edit the text as you will as well. So you can actually make these p tags if you want and give them a separate ID and mess with those p tags if you wish. Kind of like we did with title up here in these h2 tags. And the title as well. So uh, that's it for that. So let's see what else I have on here. So now I have a couple of different navigation bars, but let's look at this one. Now I'm not going to actually make a navigation bar because uh, I did that in the last tutorial. So you can watch my last one to watch how to do both types of navigation bars. And well, let's just make this little bar right here that goes across. So in order to do that, we're going to need another section. So uh, under under this entire banner part, let's create our next set of div tags. So I'm going to call this one nav horizontal. I hope I spelled that right. And close the div tag. And let's mess with nav horizontal. So I'll go uh, nav horizontal. And inside of this, what should we do? Probably change the background color to, I don't know, let's go 8A, 8A, 8A. I, I, I know that's something. It's something brighter than the other one. And text align, we'll probably want that to be centered. Um, text align, align, centered. Because uh, you'll probably have text there if you're going to mess with a... Uh, if you're going to be messing with uh, links, because you're going to be making your links in there. So you might have to change this and modify it when you actually put in text in there, but we're not going to worry about that now. We're going to make the width, uh, I think I can make the width 100%. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, let me just keep it as is. And height. I'll probably want to make the height something small. Let's go with 25 pixels. And what's the next one I would like to do? Probably float it to the left. That might be a necessity as well. Don't want to forget about that. 
and I'm gonna want to make the position of it relative, and because we're gonna need we're gonna have to scooch it down. So I'm not quite too sure how much I'm gonna have to scoot it down. Let me look at where it is right now. So I click save and refresh, and it's right there. So um, the width with 100 oh 100 pixels. I want 100 percent. Let me look at that really quickly. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so here's our horizontal nav bar right there, and its width and its height is only 25 pixels here. But we want to give it some distance. So if the position is relative, which is where it would normally be, and let's push it down like 10 pixels. So there we go. That's the next bar. Should I have it the same color as the rest? You know, what, I'm starting to think. Nah, mm, nah. You know, what, I'll keep it with this lighter color there. I. Don't, you know what? No, I'm gonna. No, yeah. I'm, no, yeah. I'm gonna change it. Because you know what, I'm going to have the main body, the lighter color. I'll keep the rest dark like that. Okay, there we go. So that's going to be... So basically, you have to center a uh, a list, an unordered list, in order to make your links, if you want to make a horizontal nav bar, nav bar, uh, navigation bar here. So, sorry I'm slipping up here. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I guess that we should do with that one. So the next one I'll probably want to do will be the... Let's make a section on the left, right? So I have a section... Well, this isn't a section. This is a... Well, I guess you can make this a section if you want. I don't have a section on the left. I think this is where I'll make my login and register when I actually do PHP MySQL. I don't know if I'll do it up there like most sites do, if I'll do it down here. I'm, I'm not quite too sure. I have to think about You know what? I'll probably want to do it up here just to keep it like most other sites. And I'll just put something else here. Maybe another ad. Yeah, I think I'll put another ad over there. I don't, I don't know. And... Well, let's make a section left. So let's go down here. Div ID is equal to section. Whoops, section left. And I'll close that. And an end div. So I'll click save. And let's. You know what? I'll actually make a section right as well. Right now. So I'll just copy this. And I'll paste it. So section right. Click save. And there we go. So let's mess with the uh, section left first, of course. So in section left, left, the first thing I want to do is mess with the background color. I'm actually going to just copy and paste. There we go. And then after we do that, let's uh, float this guy to the left. So that it's naturally on the left. Then we'll want to do the position relative again, which will keep it where it already is. But then we're probably going to want to move it down 10 pixels, right? We want to do the very same thing. Then after that, we'll give it a height of, I don't know, 300 pixels and a width of something thin. Let's go 150 pixels. So I think that'll look like everything I want it to. So uh, there it is, but uh, there's no distance there. Let's, let's increase this right here. I'm not quite too sure. It's 20 pixels. There we go. So okay, I guess I guess it started from right up top here. So I'm not quite too sure why, but well, here's a little bar here. It's only it's only 300 pixels high. Let's let's make it 500. That's pretty pretty short. There we go. So now it's a little longer. So now let's make one on the right. And as you can see, the background container only goes down to here, but it doesn't matter. We don't need the background container to go all the way down. In fact, we we can just get rid of the height its height later. We don't need its height. And Let's, uh, oh yeah, section right. And so what I'm going to need for this, that's pretty much the same thing. So you know what, I'm just going to copy all of this right here. I'm going to paste it, but this time I'm going to float it to the right instead of the left. So I float it to the right, it should be the same. And there it is. So there we go. So it's the exact same thing, but now it's on the right. And you, you can make it a different height if you want to if you want to make your site look a little more complicated. As you can see with my website, I haven't updated this yet. I already finished cshop.net and I only have like two left for C++. I'm not even really focusing on them anymore because this this is done. So, But I have a separate thing right here. I don't, I don't know. And remember, with the div tags, you're going to be using them to position ads too, like if you have ads and whatnot. So that's a whole other entity right there. But, oh, whoops, I didn't want to minimize that. So, so yeah, you can add little sections there too, which I probably will, I don't know. And okay, so there's only one more thing to do, and that's the main body of text that goes right here.
because on the main page here I have the main body of text. If you go to any of my sub pages, uh, there's some main bodies here as well. So that's it's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty impressed myself. Uh, about a year ago, I would never be able to do any of this stuff. I wouldn't even know any kind of programming just a year ago. Uh, so I feel pretty good. But uh, okay, so uh, main body of text. So let's actually do that. So I'm gonna call it section or just main body probably or I'll call it body main how about that and you know what I need to actually make it here because I didn't make it yet so that's gonna be another div tag and I'll call it body main and save all and okay so now what are we gonna do with this guy so I guess with this guy, what we're going to do is change the background color, and I think this is going to be the one in which I actually give it the brighter colors. A, 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 A. And then from there, we're going to change the, uh, the um, excuse me, the position. So, position relative. Then from the top, I guess you're going to have to do that weird 20 pixels again. And then we're going to have to move it from the left some number of pixels probably. I'm not quite too sure. We're going to have to edit that. We're going to have a width of, let's try 500 pixels. And a height of maybe 400 pixels. Something like that. And I'll just click save. And let's see what we have so far because I'm not too sure. And ooh, a weird little box here. So, um, you know what? I didn't float this to the left. Is that going to change it? Uh, let me make sure that will change it or not. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Uh, I didn't float it first, so i got to float it. Now it's right up against this guy. So, from the left, we're probably going to want to move it. Let's go 25 pixels. See how that w looks. And uh, I'll probably want to do more than that. Or, you know what? I could change the width of this whole thing, Majigger. Let's change the width of this guy to 550, because it's pretty thin. So, there we go. That looks a lot better. So, there's our main body of text. You can throw stuff in there. So, let's actually throw some text in there, see how it looks. This is, or I'll put down, welcome to my website. So, welcome to my new website. Let's throw in some break tags in there. And uh, another set of break tags and sample text so now let's copy and paste this everywhere so copy paste 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 and so on and let me copy all of this copy and let's paste this all again notice I didn't make separate p tags again I'm just keeping it as is and you know what I might need to and okay so there's all the text you know what I'm not going to uh, I'm going to show you something else. So I'm going to actually want to add some padding here. So notice how there's no uh, padding here on either side. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a whole separate div tag right here, and I'm going to call it body content. So that's going to mess with the text that's actually inside it. So so this right here. So basically this div tag right here will mess with, well, the styles that we apply to it will mess with the contents that are inside it, while this parent one right here will modify this whole gray box itself. So we already did that. So let's just modify the text really quickly. And let's go, what did I even call it? Body content. And let's add some padding. Let's add five pixels here. I'll click save and save all. And let's see the padding appear there and it does and on on the top as well so that looks a lot better so um yeah that's about it i wanted to show you for this tutorial i'm sorry this was such a long tutorial uh but uh the last one was really long too wasn't it but probably the best thing about this learning how to do this is watch this look at that it automatically resizes for you um the the text here does not wrap onto the next line when you sh when you're resizing the browser and the last thing i'd probably want to show you is actually changing the whole background itself so I'm going to do that right now. Let's change the background color. Let's cut this whole thing right here. Cut. And whoops. 
bring that down a couple and let's mess with the body tags and let's change the you know what the in order to change the background let's go HTML so tab paste and that should change the whole background which it did you could kinda of see it um, get darker in the background so it went down a couple shades the background so now we can change the whole background of the website there as well so as you can see if you compare this with the text editor it's not completely white in case you missed it but yeah so there you go so that's about all I wanted to show you for this tutorial this is probably the biggest tutorial I'll do in CSS and this is probably the last one I'll do for CSS for a while uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in my head right now to do now that I could still do with CSS but yeah this is it for now so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and hopefully I'll see you in another playlist